Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's videos, I will guide you step by step how to download, install and set up Java in Visual Studio Code. For Java programming, first thing we need to install the JDK Java Development Kit. So just open your browser and simply search for JDK download. The first link Java downloads it is from oracle.com just click on it and open it I will also mention the link in the description for your convenience now here under Java downloads just scroll down and you will find JDK 23 it is the latest version here you will find different options for Linux Mac OS or for Windows since we are downloading for windows so just click on windows just scroll down here you will get 64 bit installer so just click on this link to download jdk now you can see it is downloading so we just wait for it to complete once it downloaded just double click on the downloaded.exe file. Let me minimize the browser. It will ask do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device. Click yes. Now a setup wizard will open. Here just click next. Now here it is your installation location where it will get installed. It will get installed in your C drive under program files. So leave it as default and just click next. Now it is installing wait for it to complete. Once it installed just click close. Now we need to set up the path environment variable for Java. Go to the location where you have installed JDK. Go to your C drive. Here go to program files. Here you will find Java. Just open it. Here you will get JDK 23. Just open this folder JDK 23. Just open bin folder. Now here on the top click on the address bar. Now here just select and copy it. Just copy this full path. Minimize. Now go to your search bar. And here you type environment. Environment variable. Here you will get. In Windows 11, you will get two options edit environment variable for your account, edit the system environment variables. So, you will click on edit the system environment variable, just click on it, edit the system environment variables. Now, here under advanced, just click on environment variables, under system variable, just scroll down and find path. Click on path and select path, then click on edit. Here, click on new, then just paste your copied path. Once you have pasted, just click on OK. Now, in the system variables, click on new. Here, you just type Java underscore home and here you paste your copied path in this time you you paste your copied path till jdk-23 don't paste till bin once you have pasted in the variable value till jdk-23 just click on ok 
now you can see new variable is created with the name of java home with an value c program files java jdk now once it done just click on ok here and just click on ok here again so go to window search bar and just type cmd and open your command prompt here you just type java hyphen hyphen version if you get this complete information that means java is installed properly in your system and we have set up the path variable successfully now close it now we need to install a vs code so again go to your browser and just search for vs code Now here you will get Visual Studio Code code editing. It is from code.visualstudio.com. I will also mention the link in the description for your convenience. Just click on it and open it. Now here you just click on Download for Windows, and it will start to download automatically. Now you can see it is downloading. Just wait for it to complete. once it is downloaded just double click on it to start the installation let me minimize the browser now a prompt will appear here it is saying to accept the license agreement so read it carefully and just click on i accept the agreement and then click on next to continue here it will ask the installation location so leave it as default and click next select the start menu folder leave it as default and just click next if you want to create a desktop shortcut then mark create a desktop icon and then click next then just click install now it is installing wait for it to complete once it installed then if you mark this launch visual studio code it will launch your visual studio code automatically and then just click on finish now this is your visual studio code interface when you open first time so cut it now we need to install some extension for java so just click on extension here and in the search bar just search for extension extension pack for java you will get extension pack for java it is from microsoft so just open it and here you just click on install this pack installs seven extensions needed for java development so wait for the installation to complete once it installed click close now here click on explorer and here click on open folder and just create one new folder where you want to save your projects java projects so i am creating in my desktop you can create wherever you want and you can give any name whatever you want as a name i am giving java project after that just select it and just click on select folder here just click yes i trust this author now close this now let's create a new java file so here just click on new file and give the name of your java program in my case i am giving launch dot java extension name make sure you use the dot java extension with your file name and just hit enter
Now, after written your program, just click Control plus S to save your program. If you want VS Code to save your program automatically, then just click on here File and just click on Auto Save. Mark this option. Now, if you click on File again, you can see the Auto Save has marked. Now, let's run our program. So, here on the top left, click on three dot icon. Here, click on Terminal. Then click on new terminal. Your terminal is started. You can see here. Now here, let's check Java is working properly or not. So just type Java iPhone iPhone person and hit enter. If you get this output, that means your Java is working properly in VS Code. Now let's compile our program. So just type Java C, which is Java compiler. And here you give the file name launch dot Java, then just hit enter. Now you can see you can see here launch dot class file is created. That means our program gets compiled. Now let's run our program. So here you just give Java, and here you give the name of your file and just hit enter. You can see hello world is printed. That means our program works fine. Now, if you don't want to run your program manually, if you don't want to write this command to compile and run your Java program, so then we need to download one extension in VS Code. So again, go to extension here, click on extension. In this time, just search for code runner. You will get this first option, code runner. It is from Janhan. So just click on it and open it. And then just click on install. Whatever the extension I am installing, make sure you install those extensions. Then you will not get any error. Now after that, just click on close. Now let's run our program again. Now here just click on this drop down icon and just click on run code. Now if you can see the hello world is printed. And we have compiled and run our program through code runner automatically. But here you can see it is not giving the output in the terminal. So let's do some changes. So it will give the output in the terminal. So just go here and click on this setting icon. Here go to settings. And here you just type code runner run terminal. You just type this and you will get code runner run in terminal. So just enable this option and close it. Now, if you run this program, it will give the output in the terminal. So let's add some new messages. Now, again, go to here, click on drop down and just click on run code. Now, if you can see the output is giving in the terminal, that means our setup works fine. That it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question or issue, leave a comment below. I will be happy to help. Thank you for watching.